Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, all praise is glory and honor. Be unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha HaGurash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of the great millstone who rule well. Salutations to the hopeful elect out there pushing this word of truth, sincerity, and indeed, your brother Kapatazah from the great millstone Chicago branch. Coming at you with another real quick, Lord willing, edifying lesson. It is just a, actually a response to my brother's uh, GMS, uh, Teach the Wise, and Slack your brother, I forgot your new page, the brother Nadazakia, and also uh, Truth Hurts the Wicked, uh, GMS Kingdom Come, all right? It's basically an exhortation to the younger brothers, man. All right, a lot of young brothers are coming in, you know, there's a lot of fresh new faces and uh, that are showing up and uh, really just trying to find their way in the body. And um, one of the reoccurring themes in, in this thing of ours is order. Order, order and humility, okay? Knowing your place, not getting beside yourself, okay? Humility, knowing your place and not getting beside yourself. These things go hand in hand, you know? And uh, when you recognize these things, when you abide by these things, good things happen. But a lot of times, as in life, when people get beside themselves, or when they become prideful and they end up getting out of order, correction must come down, okay? So this is just an exhortation to the younger Akim coming in this thing, man. Remember order, remember humility, all right? And it's okay to ask questions. All right, that's what the older brothers are there for. You know, that's what the body is here for, to ask questions, for you to be edified. You know, to be edified means to be built up. You can't be built up if you ain't asking questions. And if you ain't asking questions, that means you ain't reading and you ain't researching. See that? So it's good, man, that you're reading and researching. But before you come with just some profound ass <laughs> discovery or, you know, before you try to come with some doctrine, hey, man, you got to go through the ranks first. Okay, you gotta ask questions first. All right, you don't wanna be presumptuous. All right, you don't wanna be self willed. No, you don't wanna do that. All right, that's gonna get you in a great deal of trouble. All right, that's gonna get you cursed out. Because that shit, hey, hey, there's no room for presumptuous, disorderly individuals in this thing of ours, man. All right, as it is written, let all things be done decently and in order. As it is written, you know, young man, take heed to your elders, man. And then that have the rule over you, all right? These things, man, hey, these elders, they watch for your soul. At the end of the day, we just want you to be good. We just want you to be doing what is right. We want you to be saying what is right, okay? So it ain't nothing uh, personal. It's just business, all right? But nevertheless, this is Ecclesiastes chapter 5, verse 1. Keep thy foot when thou goest to the house of God. And be more ready to hear than to give the sacrifice of fools, for they consider not that they do evil, see? So there's a saying in the world that says, hey, you got two ears and one mouth for a reason, you know? That's why scriptures say, be ready to hear than to give the sacrifice of fools. What is the sacrifice of fools? Hey, just talking, just saying shit, you know? When here it is, when you come with information, that debunks your information, okay, and, and disproves what you thought to be true, we have to maintain that humble state of mind in accepting the correction, man. All right? Shit. We get it. Nobody wants to be wrong, but hey, the scriptures say hardly ever do we guess it right. You know? You got to take those things into account and, and be thankful that you're being corrected. You know, there's, there's nothing better than correction, man. All right, shit, that, that, hey man, that's a peaceable, uh, uh, righteous fruit comes from correction, all right? Peaceable, righteous fruit comes from rebuke, man. So we have to always be ready to receive these things, man, and not be emotional like this world has taught us to be. I'm speaking to the young men, especially, you know, a lot of young men, you know, they, they were raised by their mother. They, uh, you know, a lot of young men probably didn't really have their father around to really teach them fortitude and masculinity and things of that nature so when they begin to be corrected all right or in some cases when they get cursed the hell out by another man they get offended they're at it's like man what the fuck hold on who you talking to here yeah, nigga we talking to you <laughs> your ass going off <laughs> and here goes some correction for you all right 
And nine times out of 10, before an uh, elder brother really got to get down on you like that, believe you me, the mercy was shown. Believe you me, the patience was shown. But if you show a pattern of misconduct, believe you me, you're going to get cursed the hell out, all right, in this great millstone. All right, I can't speak for the mother groups. <laughs> all right, but in this great millstone, yeah, if you show that pattern, yeah, you're going to get your ass cursed out, you know? And some Jakes just deserve and need to be cursed the hell out. They need that hardcore reproof, you see, in order for them to really understand and get it. But it's all good and love, man, all right? The, 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 hey, despise not the chastening of the Lord, man, all right? Whom the Lord loveth, he chastens. We got to remember those things, man, okay? But yeah, we got to be more ready to hear than to give the sacrifice of fools, man, all right? Ask questions, okay? Don't just, you know what I mean? Don't just come off the goddamn uh, top rope with some doctrine and shit that ain't even right, <laughs> that you haven't been taught. All right, though, hey man, those things should not be so. All right, but what's the sacrifice of fools? Let's get into that. All right. This the book of Satan, just fucking with me, man. This the book of Proverbs, chapter 10. The book of Proverbs, chapter 10, verse eight. The wise in heart will receive commandments all right, what's another word for a commandment? Instruction, okay? The wise in heart can be given construction, man. Instructions, salakia. And what? They will receive it and build upon it, add unto it, you see? It says, but a prating fool shall fall. What does it mean to be uh, prating? Or what does it mean to prate? To just be talking inconsequentially, man. Just running your goddamn mouth. Just trying to find a way to be right, all right? That's how you become a prating fool. And the scripture said that the prating fool will fall, man. Okay? These things are written aforetime and written for our learning. These things are true, man. And we see these things happen throughout our daily, every day. Okay? The validity is there. All right? So let's do our best to avoid being prating fools. Let's do our best to be more ready to hear than to just run our mouth. Let's do our best to receive instructions. Let's do our best to not become offended and emotional as men when you're receiving correction. Let's do our best to 